now, Sagittarius, this is the abundance reading for you. Okay, this is in 10 minutes or less here. I'm doing these readings. We've got the higher self. Number 41 goes into a five. Stop longing, still your mind, and allow your higher self to use its infinite resources to comfort and guide you to the fulfillment of your desires here. You're being called to really tune in. Um, a lot of things are going to be coming to an end with this eclipse season, but that means there's opportunity for all this growth. And that's what this reading is about. You've got two wolves representing here. Yay, you, right? What a power animal the wolf is. Take care of your needs and unleash the wild within. I'm hearing to tell somebody, do not be afraid. The universe has your back. Keep going. You're being called to move with graceful movement and action. Notice the orb he's holding on one hand and um, the very specific, okay, um, oh my God, praying mantis, right? Praying mantises are um, known for being extremely devastating. Like they decapitate their mates at the end of mating, right? So that you like, they have nutrients for the babies, okay? So you're being called to have that balance here. We've got the eight of summer, desire for a more meaningful life, realizing it's time to move on, choosing to make major changes here. Higher self, right? Okay, so a lot of us, um, a lot of signs, a lot of folks are coming out of stagnation, out of a period where everybody has been, you know, kind of trying to learn, trying to glow, trying to grow, trying to clear out past, you know, cycles, excuse me, and behavior patterns. You've got the six of autumn. All the good you do comes back to you, an unexpected inflow of money, okay? Um, it talks about borrowing wisely or repaying a debt. So um, Sagittarius, if you owe people, make sure that when you get this inflow of money, you're doing your best to make things right with people. Um, the Empress here, this is all about fertility here. Look at this. How beautiful this is. Take Time to take action. The power of creativity, so success that leads to a life of luxury. All right? All your hard work will pay off, okay? We're purging all these, you know, kind of the darkness or all these past cycles and patterns, and we're starting to move into a phase where we, all of us, you know, we've talked about leveling up. This eclipse season is major, major for this, all right? Yeah, we have the chariot moving forward. Notice you're moving forward in a balanced way. This is also a, a card of, of cancer. So you might be dealing with the cancer here. Notice the yin and the yang, and it's about coming forward in a balanced way, okay, with your boundaries intact, right? We've got the hermit card. You are to remember that you are the keeper of your power and wisdom here. No longer are you the hangman trying to gather this power now. You're stepping into your power and you understand that you are the light bearer. Okay, you've also got the one. This has to do with your passion, your soul's purpose here. I'm speaking to people specifically that are on that path, that have been trying to figure out that path. See, what did I tell you? Okay, the hangman is opposite here. All right, you've gotten out of that phase. You are moving forward in confidence, knowing that you carry the light, okay? Nine of Wands, you're ready for a harvest. You might have been feeling a little bit burdened here. We already know that there's windfalls of money coming in for you, okay? You could be an earth angel here, all right? Like a light worker, a healer. Um, or you could be that in your purview. You can be the most best, you know, like car mechanic and still be a light worker, right? Do you, are you standing in your authenticity? Are you standing in integrity here? You're going to also be receiving clarity that is going to move you forward. Thank you, spirit. All right, time to grab another deck here. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? We have a Knight of Wands and we have the Devil. You could have somebody possibly coming in. The Knight of Wands is a very slow moving energy. This could be a test that's coming in for you after this eclipse season. 
okay or before the end of it like did you learn the lessons will you do you have to repeat the cycles no that might be coming in for you okay we've got the chariot again moving forward i see you moving forward with focus and understanding that's why you've got the hermit the hermit carries understanding know that these energies might appear for you again but i see celebrations here okay this is something that you have to pay attention to every time we level up we get back into a space because there's residual energies unless you're clearing those out okay and i'm not saying it might be the same person it could be a different person or a different situation with that past icky energy you're being called to understand that here stay away from conflict and drama yeah we've got the queen of pentacles coming in all right this is somebody that is very sturdy and practical you're dealing with finances and spiritual growth here okay right we've got the empress again okay i feel like some of you have gone through a past situation that could have been a hard relationship and this is going to be the test here something that should have been full of growth full of love full of blooming projects that was not this is the test so i don't know whether that person or that energy is coming back in but you need to be aware of that let's get a read please oh okie dokie yeah the time of going back and forth is over this came out in the reverse you are moving forward you are decidedly moving forward here All right, let's find out about this abundance, please. This is for Sagittarius, please. Let's get this out of the way here. Let's find out about this abundance that coming is coming in for you. I see some of you, um, I see a J. We've got the Four of Cups, the Queen of Swords. The two of swords and the eight of pentacles all right you're gonna have to be aware to see notice she's got that cup overflowing right beside her so it's time to turn away from the past it's time to take those blindfolds off you need to do this before the turn of this of this full moon here if you can right it's okay to be a queen of swords. That's intellect. That's reason. That's clarity. That's good communication skills. Okay. She's learning boundaries. That's what this was about. This has affected your work as well. We're asking about the abundance and this is what they're telling me. Somebody needs to hear this here. Okay. It's been taking you away from your studies and away from your work. You need to, you need to concentrate here and focus. This is what the chariot is speaking of. You need to stay focused on you and staying in your heart center. Yeah, we've got the world card here. You may have been going back and forth here. Notice this is the baggage and this is the light. This is telling you, okay, to, to strip off the illusions here. Get real with yourself. Know your worth is what I'm hearing this is a period of growth for you coming you are coming into growth and balance here this has to do with finances and your spiritual health and wealth i should say okay i'm going to change decks one more time here this is for sagittarius the empress you're birthing a new project okay Yeah, there we go. I asked about the nine of rods and I got the ten of rods here. It's harvest season, baby. And you're going to come at this in a very intellectual way. And I think that you're being called to do that. Okay? Because you can be very passionate, Sagittarius, and you're being called to bring intellect into the mix here. To use that clarity. I hear somebody uh, contracts. Make sure that you pay attention to the details. Cross those T's, dot those I's here. Your period of mourning is over. Your period of grieving is over. Oh, flipped up here. Yep, your period of 
of conflict is over. I'm asking about abundance here. What's going on? They want you to, you know, these are things they want you to understand. Yeah, here you are. You're focused on your gifts. You're focused on yourself. You're moving forward. I guess somebody out there needs to understand that this is what needs to happen. Self-regulation is key here. Okay? You've got the Empress again. This is promise. Okay, this is promise. First of all, it tells me that your angel spirits and guides, whatever you want to call them, your spirit team is looking out for you. This is something huge that's meant to be. You've got three empresses here. The birth of this project is something that is meant to be here. See past the illusions. Okay, come at this with a childlike energy. This is a beginning for you. You might not know everything, but you are being promised the opportunity, right? You've got the Wheel of Fortune and the world here. Okay? You might be dealing with a Leo. It's possibly this could bring in a new love for you. This could be a Leo. Okay? This could also show that you are bringing in divine unification here of your yin and yang. Your divine feminine, your divine masculine. And that is a reward, huge reward, because when you get balanced like that, it just, everything else will just start to flow for you. Pull one more card here for you. Let me grab another deck. Sagittarius. Yep. You got to make sure that you're paying attention here. Somebody might come in and try to take this. Somebody might come in and try to take your, your hard work here which is the Ace of Cups that you're being promised here. If you, you know, you have to pay attention. Did you learn is what Spirit wants to know. Okay? Because now is the perfect time to let it go. I've got the Fourth Empress here. I can't make this stuff up. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right? Yeah, Universe is going to be calling judgment. Hopefully, you have gotten to the point where... You have at least said, I am going to let this go. I'm purging this behavior. I'm purging this cycle. I'm doing this. Hopefully before the uh, lunar eclipse, you've already started, even if it's in a small way, to start that momentum towards this abundance that's coming in for you. You've got four empresses showing here. I, I mean, I haven't seen this at all for any other sign. You've got four empresses here. This is huge. This is a birth of a project... Um, you know, it could be a baby. It could be, I don't know, but whatever it is, it's big. And this is, this is, you know, divinely given and you are divinely protected right now. You need to understand that, but you also need to do the work. Okay. The devil came out twice. This is about you making the decision to let something that's no longer serving you go and to pass that test. If it comes in again, Hope this has been helpful, Sagittarius. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other and be kind out there.